clean wipes that you can use for makeup removal and I use them just to cleanse off any excess oil and cleanse the nail. So here we already pushed back the cuticle a little bit. We cut her nail and this away. How was your guys' this weekend? I know a lot of people watched the new Spider-Man movie, and I am one of those that have not watched it, and I probably won't, because I haven't seen any of them. I did see the movie Orphan, it was free on YouTube, and I love free. Have you seen Orphan? Mm-hmm. No? Do you like scary movies? You can watch it for free on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's about this like woman that looks like a nine-year-old, but she's like a serial murderer. And her, this family adopts her thinking she's like a little girl, but she's not. And she's like trying to kill them and seduce the dad, and then she stabs him. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. I think it's on other streaming platforms, but on YouTube it was free. I, it's because sometimes you have like all, like these streaming platforms and I swear by the time you're done looking you're like I'm over it I don't want to watch anything I think I'm one of the few people in this planet that does not have Netflix as well I'm gonna use the diamond many bit to go in hi from Serbia awesome thank you love I appreciate that Huh? Oh, everything. She loves everything. The what? Oh, Lucy Ball. Where is that coming out? On uh, streaming? Ooh, have fun. I want to see the Scream 5 movie come out next month. That looks exciting. I haven't even seen Christmas movies this year. Maybe the Royal Tenenbaum is the Royal Tenenbaums a Christmas movie? Is that funny, or is that like a very dry kind of movie that you have to like get into? Yeah, they do actually, and the quality is not bad. I saw a movie on YouTube where Nicole Kidman plays uh, Grace Kelly of Monaco, and that was pretty good. But I love Nicole Kidman. What's that? I'm just gonna really gently trim the drawing on the tissue. On Instagram, we were talking about how like they're making some Barbies that I was like, whoa. Yesterday we went to Walmart, and my mom was like, let's get some some dolls for your niece, for my brother's daughter Jasmine. And I was like, wow, these Barbies like one of them was shaped like a linebacker. I swear it was like a G.I. Joe with like a, a, a girl's face. It was one of the Encanto dolls. I was like, whoa. That thing is not very pretty. But it's really interesting to see all these Barbies in different shapes and sizes. But you can't go wrong with the OG girls. Barbie and I want to say... Teresa and I can't remember the other names because I never played with Barbies. Did you play with Barbies? No. I like no? no. What'd you like? I play something about that. My siblings are the ones that like Barbies. Oh, really? I played with Power Rangers. And I remember when I was really little, my dad would tell me, he was like, those toys are going to be worth a lot of money someday. So I would like play with them and then I would like take them apart and put them back in like the box that they came in. <laughs> you don't have them? I do, I just don't know where they are. But I have a pretty good uh, Power Ranger collection. And I remember for back in the day, this was in the 90s, they were expensive, like 40 bucks. That was a lot of money for toys. So we're going to go in with French in the coffin and then Pokemon 
both Pokemon cards. I was the first wave of the Pokemon cards. And let me tell you, it, it wasn't expensive. We're in, when you were a kid in school, was were Pokemon cards popular among the kids that liked the show? My school banned them. Mm -hmm. Because people were like stealing them or they were getting into fights over Pokemon card games. You gotta teach kids good sportsmanship. The what game? No! The Pokemon Go? That game? I've seen it. I've been curious about it, but uh, I gotta work. Imagine me in the middle of the day, they're like, Max, can you help? No! Sorry. Playing Pokemon. Don't bother me when Pokemon's out. Huh? Both what? Is that Antonio? Yeah. Or Game Boy. We, they were not allowed to, um, to bring Game Boys over to in school. But I remember for show and tell, like, I, I think I took some of my parents' toys for show and tell. What a horrible thing to do. I should have done something with a little bit more substance, but at the time. I remember, like, going to the movies to watch the Power Ranger movie when it first came out and my mom got me like a like a Power Rangers t-shirt. And you wore it? Yes. Man, I feel bad for parents that have to take their kids to watch those kinds of movies. Mm -hmm. My dad likes those kind of movies. Superhero movies? Yeah, like little kids movies. Because you wouldn't watch like scary movies. Really? Yeah. Some of them are okay, but like I don't think I could do like all the like the musicals or things like that. I think when you're a kid, maybe, but I don't think I could watch like half the stuff I saw when I was a kid now. You have to have a lot of patience. But I do remember that back then a lot of it had like double meanings, which is kind of funny. When you watch them now, you're like, oh, they were. That's what they insinuated. I know. I was watching a movie. What was it? It was called superhero movie. Like, do you remember scary movie? Yeah. The where they make fun of the other horror movies. <laughs> this one was called superhero movie. And I was like, if they made that movie today, nobody would watch it. Everybody would get offended by it. Scary. Yes. They're so dumb, they're funny. Uh, the Naked Gun, those were funny too. What, what were those like based on those? The Naked Gun? Yeah, okay. Naked Gun were based off cop movies, I think. Does anybody remember? Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of Naked Gun movies. Or, um, there was a franchise back in the day too called National Lampoons. They would have like National Lampoon's European Vacation, National Lampoon's uh, Christmas. The first one's funny because they go to the theme park and it's closed. Like they take this, this really long road trip across the country, and when they get there, it's all closed and they break into it. your gel lasts so much longer because literally it's this. You're gonna get every single drop out. He's just 
doing okay. Thank you for asking. And Merry Christmas to you out in Wales. Love me a good Welsh accent. Mr. Tom Jones. I think Princess Diana was Welsh too, wasn't she? Beautiful. Let's bake that 30 seconds. I actually saw the movie where, where Kristen Stewart plays Princess Diana, and it's really good. I really liked it. I don't know why it had such horrible reviews. I thought it was so good. Because Camilla Parker's in there, and she's making eyes at, Harry, at Prince Harry? Prince Charles. Prince Charles. And I love Camilla Parker. Because she's a home wrecker. She's an ugly one. She looks like a horse. So let's turn this around. I'm going to do a coat of milky pink shiny on the inside. And this is just going to help further hide the line of demarcation and seal any uh, spillage that she might have of the pink, fantasy pink DIY gel. And I was like, we should go to Chicago, and I was like, why? It's too cold. Chicago. Oh, a friend of mine. They're in Indianapolis right now. The top 30 seconds. Tony, how cold is it in Chicago right now? How many pairs of clothes do you need to layer on? Well, I wish people didn't get so offended with the words Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Season's Greetings, Warm Thoughts. So we're going to take our fantastic file, and just going to make sure those sidewalls are nice and straight, give the free edge a nice natural shape. Really? What is not that cold? like 50 degrees 30 degrees 10 degrees below zero here it was like what like 75 today and everyone's like in sweaters and <laughs> jumpers and jackets and I wear gloves at work But our winter is so short, so I enjoy it. I'm like, let's all be cold because it's not gonna last. Because <laughs> our summers are brutal. Nothing like being 110. And this year it was so humid because it rained so much. Wasn't it like the year that it had the most rain like in the last 20 years or something? Okay, actually, thank you. We gotta pray for my mom. That's what we need to pray for. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine 30 degrees? We would have pneumonia and influenza because it's so cold. Our bodies are not used to it. When it's like, when it's 70 degrees, people get parkas and like. Thermal underwear out. And then you got the, the wind chill from the Michigan. I am, aka the promised land, or it used to be. Oh, is it, should it be more towards me? 
rotated. Move the camera towards me more. Oh, thank you, that's so kind. There we go, modesty is the best policy. What? Oh, awesome, what part? Arizona and it's two cities. One which isn't really a city either. What was that? Can you see everything going on? It's okay. Like it's too far away? Oh, I can't bring it any down because it would be in my face and then my shoulders start hurting. You know, when you get old, Awesome, that's great. I'm so glad. We work all, everyone at Enoctor.com works really hard. We all try our best. That is the way of the Chamorro people. So I'm just going in with the Diamond Manny to further blend in the cuticle. What are you guys going to eat for uh, Christmas dinner? Mm -hmm. So not just any kind of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Isn't she going to make them Guatemalan kind? Mm -hmm. No, they're in banana leaves. Uh, chicken parm. Yeah. Yeah, my mom can't cook. Taking taking care of my dad. It's like taking care of a giant baby. That's why I was like, we should pay for my mom, not my dad now. Before she jumps off a cliff. Yeah, because um, we might hire uh, someone new for the office while Marissa's on um, her maternity leave. She had to start her early because of her preeclampsia, and she's a high-risk pregnancy. So uh, the background check is kind of interesting. Remember, you cannot buff the top surface of the French or ombre one, two, three, go. That will remove the design because remember, these nails are hand painted. Now we're going to go in with a nice little coat of Wonder Gel. It dehydrates the nail and it also kind of melts the nail just enough of the cuticle area so that way it blends in better because you cannot buff or file the top surface of the one, two, three, four. That's French. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I think We can't buff or file the top surface of the nail because it's hand painted and if you do that, you're going to remove the paint.
gracias, pero uh, por el momento no tengo planeado hacer un live con las niñas hombre, pero tenemos más de 10.000 videos que sos puede ver, y ahí está el en vivo con ese diseño. Yes, that is correct. Versatile. Like, there's so many ways you can customize it and make it your own and change it up and mix it and have fun with it. That's the most important part. And I think a lot of people forget that about nails. Just have fun. We're going to use diamond gel because we're going to apply some diamonds on her ring finger. I'm going to take my vegan liner gel brush. What did they say on Instagram? That somebody felt fancy with this music? Yeah. <laughs> like she was in a fancy boutique. Someone had replied back to the gas for this song. <laughs> Are you guys excited for all the horror movies coming out in January too? Wow. I know, especially in January, what a weird month, but it's always like that. What's the name? Just 10 seconds, sure if you can place. We're gonna add a little bit more around and then we're gonna add the same. Bojangles is a really fancy nightclub here in Tucson. Really? Too fancy for me. You walk in and there's like red velvet curtains and a piano in the middle. Yeah. And like doctors and lawyers go there and party. Politicians. Yeah. Like if you want to go and get yourself a doctor or a lawyer or like a CEO. That's where they go to Bojangles. <laughs> Outside, you just see like Maseratis parked, Bentleys, Humvees. Where? Bojangles? No. Too fancy. No, I've just heard stories about it. That people used to tell me when I had uh, the nail salon. I'm too uh, not fancy enough to go. We 
we just did a, uh, one finger and then I put gel on top of it and that is because doing this, I'm gonna put it in, it helps seal the rhinestone so that way there's no edges or uh, anything sticking out. Literally what it does is it shrink wraps around the rhinestone so that way it doesn't get tangled in anything. Whether it be hair or extension or a wig or weave, whatever, it will not pull because it is shrink wrapped around so the edges are smooth and there's no little holes with hooks or crannies so you have to go around the edge. This is a technique that is a little bit controversial because some people don't like to put rhinestones, uh, gel over the rhinestones, but it really comes down to a personal choice on what's going to work best for you given the situation. And it's also really good for people that have really uh, uh, jobs where they work a lot with their hands, like super demanding. Like for example, she's a cast member here, so she does a lot. She works with tape and box openers and cardboard and things like that too, so the last thing she wants is a rhinestone pulling off. So this is going to guarantee that driving a forklift, they're not going to come up. Oh, awesome, thank you. And then we are working with a, an association that helps recovering addicts too, so we're using some of their packaging, their mailers. So I'll uh, notice that you guys get a percentage of all of our shipping goes to help people with recovering addiction problems. Which is, I thought was pretty cool that they did something for um, mailers for shipping. So a little bit of cotton candy critical oil. Alright. Really? So now I'm gonna use the messy wet wipes. And take one. These are 100% vegan hypoallergenic. The cotton that we use for these is actually a very, very safe compost kind of cotton that can actually be recycled. So you can actually like bury it and it will, it will, the earth will eat it back up. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, if you see a mailer that has like a really long story about uh, recovering addicts and helping them, that is the, com the association that we uh, partnered up with for the mailing of the envelopes. That's awesome. Beautiful right here. Do you guys want to see it? The, the mailer. Christina! Mm. Oh. China! China! Can you bring me one of the mailers, uh, the purple ones for the tattoos for the uh, recovering addict? So I can show everybody? Please? Oh. Can you show us one of the, the mailers for the recovering addicts? The purple one with the tattoos on it? Thank you. And here we have it. Focus camera. Thank you. So if you see one of these, a percentage of the shipping and handling goes to this recovery association. And on the back of it, the recovery tattoo mailer, it has the whole story about how the association got started and um, a message of hope and everything. So it's really nice. It's really pretty. And of course it's for a good cause to help people those recovering. So I'm going to zoom in to the nails so that we can all see the design. That you guys, don't they look like pink and white sculpted nails? 
that nail bed is flawless. Super fast and easy as well too, literally. I think it took like what, 20 minutes to do the whole set. Look at that, she is ready for the holiday season with these flanges. Well my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for this design. I hope you guys enjoyed the demo, and what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay warm, stay out of trouble. Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate Christmas, and to those of you that don't, well, holiday greetings. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!